Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. Hi, how are you? Good. So, are you here for dating? Yes. I was trying to see how it went first because I didn't really know what to expect, but I might as well just go ahead and do it. <laughs> okay. So, your name is Taylor. How old are you and where are you located? I'm 26 and I'm in Virginia, Richmond, Virginia. What do you do for a living? I am the office manager for my mom's business. Do you have any children and would you date a man with children? Yeah, actually, and I would date someone with a child. That's a brand new baby. Yeah. He is brand new, but I haven't been with his father beef like what the duration of my pregnancy I wasn't with his dad, so So may I ask what's one reason why you're not with the child's dad? Um because um well, I'm gonna be honest, like in the middle of our relationship, I found out he was married. And I stopped and I like completely stopped talking to him. In the middle of your relationship, you found out he was married. So mm -hmm. not the middle of your pregnancy, the middle of the relationship. Well, I was already pregnant. Yeah, I was like half. I was like five months pregnant at that time. Okay, and you, there was no signs before that. Like he invited you to his house. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, invited me to his house multiple times. I mean, like you know, a lot. And I mean, it was pretty normal to me. <laughs> he just said it, they were technically not together. They found out that she was pregnant too. So then I had to deal with finding out that she was pregnant. And then I found out he was married after that. But at first he lied to me and said that he wasn't with her. So y'all yeah, both were pregnant at the same time. Mm hmm Yeah. Wow. How does your mom feel about all of this? Uh, she just being, uh, just based off of the way that he reacted, um, she doesn't, she doesn't like him or deal with him at all. Um, pretty much he said that being that I don't want to deal with him, he hasn't like been around his son at all. Life, he wasn't there for the delivery or anything. So do you Oh wow, that's hard. That's very yeah. hard. So do you think you're mentally in a space where you're ready to date right now? I don't feel like I am. I feel like I took most of my pregnancy trying to move on from the whole thing and just like understanding and realizing the fact that I was gonna be a single mom. Um and I feel like it to me, I just feel like it's, I, I, I don't know how to say it, but like when you go through trauma like that, you're kind of like always going to have to deal with like the residual <laughs> aspects of it. Um, nobody is actually ever really like healed from that. So I feel like with finding like real love and being able to like be my, like be soft around someone will. It's not like I'm just going to be because right now, like, yes, I'm kind of skeptical, skeptical after that, like finding a new relationship is kind of hard for me right now. But I feel like if I did find someone real and able to, like, want to be with someone with a child, it would definitely help me. It, like, I think we all need love and we all want love, but I feel like still so new. And I think you just need time to process everything, like mm -hmm. maybe even consider therapy, even if you go once every other week, once every week, try to find your rhythm into motherhood. Like I get up every day to do this. I got the baby, I go to work. You know, I have my little routine. I work out at home. I have my green juice. I read the baby a book. I work on my goals. You need to get into that first okay. and then think about dating. Not saying when you're out, you can't talk to a guy or whatnot. But I don't think it should really be your focus right now, if I'm being honest, Taylor. Okay. Yeah? What? How do you um, feel? Um. So how long do you feel like is like an acceptable time to like really want a relationship? Because it's like I've been wanting a relationship being that I haven't been with his dad for so long. Like I've really been focusing just on me. Um. You know, I got a new place. I got a brand new car, everything. So I've been like elevating in a way so it's like okay now i feel like I, I want to bring that into my life when do you feel like is the right time to kind of focus on that 
like you said, you just got into your new place. You just got your new car, like literally just, right? You just had your baby. I say just give it a little breathing room. Once you really find your routine, you really get settled in, that could be in another three months. Again, I'm not here to tell you when to do it. You can start dating tomorrow, mm -hmm. right? But since you have a brand new baby that's only six months, I think right now that should be your focus and you. You should be the focus in your baby. What's important to you and the baby. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will ask you since you came up, what is it that you're looking for in a partner? What is it that you're looking for in a man? I definitely am looking for someone who is like open to like understand, you know, being patient and like, I don't want to say I'm not looking for someone that's ready to be like a dad or like have that parental role because at the end of the day, his dad is not in his life. So of course he's going to be an influence on him. So I definitely want someone who's going to be a good influence, someone who is going to be um, able to show, you know, my son or if they have kids that, you know, there is true love out there. Like there's the real love. There's someone like to teach them how to be good people. Also being, you know, stable on their own, like being that I have my own stuff. I also want someone who is able to do it on their own as well. And what would be a deal breaker now? Now that you've been through that experience and you found out about your ex in that whole situation, what would be a deal breaker for you now? Me lying. I like I can't go that through that again. Really you want being sneaky, not being upfront about certain things. Like if they do have um children then of course you're gonna have a relationship with their mom i don't have a problem with that it's just the fact that i don't want them lying about it i don't want them hiding anything from me um and definitely cheating okay and what's one or two things you feel like you need to work on about yourself so you can be better in your next relationship my trust i definitely need to work on my trust because i feel like that's been the, the main thing that's been broken but I'm not sure if that'll be fixed. I'm not sure how that, because I've never like had my trust broken. So I don't know if it would be a thing where I would have to meet someone to like gain my trust and to make me understand like, oh, you can trust someone. Or if I would have to work on that before meeting someone. I think you can work on it before you meet someone, but I definitely think it takes time. Life is about experiences. So this is great that you kind of, in a sense, went through it because now you're going to know what it looks like when it comes walking your direction. Oh, I remember the signs. I know what it sounds like, what it looks like. So you have the experience. Right now, I think your focus, again, should be focused on your baby because your baby is downloading all your energy. Although your baby can't talk to you or you think he's not listening, he is downloading everything, everything energetically, everything you're saying. So we want mom to be the best for her so she can be the best for baby, you know? Okay, that makes um, sense. And summer's coming, you're gonna go out, I'm sure you'll have time to break away with your friends. You know, here's some sweet nothings from some guy at the bar and you get to just go back home. So yeah. you'll still be able to go out is what I'm saying. But it, the focus shouldn't be jump into a relationship. No. Maybe conversations here and there, blah, blah, blah. But nothing more serious until you find your footing. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I, I don't know. Should I like, I don't know if this is like advice, you know, <laughs> um, but like, should I look for someone that's like a good father being an already have a kid or should I look for someone that's good for me? I think you should look for someone who's a good man overall, okay. has good morals, has good values. Those are the things you should be focused on. How he shows up. Does he keep his word? Is he reliable? Does he have a mom and a dad? What type of background is he coming from? You know? So definitely both. Yes. But you need to work on yourself first because that man may show up, but you don't know what he looks like because of your trauma. You may be used to something else. Like you like the way this guy shows up. That's your love language. You feel like, oh my God, he gives me butterflies, but that guy is not for you. So you have to be able to identify what a good man is. And I think a part of that is working on you first. You become good. You work on you. 
so you can attract that energy if that makes sense yeah that makes sense thank you you're welcome Taylor. keep me updated okay darling okay i will right. thank you thank you taylor for coming up i mean it takes this is why this app we can't TikTok. please we need this app we need this app everyone has a story and there's something to learn from everyone and everyone needs help but Taylor, thank you for coming up and sharing. Taylor has a six-month-old baby. She's no longer with the um, baby's dad because she found out mid-pregnancy that he was married. Not only is he married, he's having a baby with his wife. So his wife, same time. So that is a lot. That is a lot. That's a lot to unpack. That's a lot to take in. So I think she needs a minute. She's 26 years old. She needs a second just to get herself right. I, I get it. You know, as humans, we want companionship. We want love. We want someone there. We want someone to maybe hold us at night or tell us that you're beautiful or say, hey, babe, do you need anything? That's a natural part of being a woman or being a human. Well, I think she's yearning for that a little bit, you know, but she's, she needs to focus on herself just a little bit longer before stepping back out. Hello, Les. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Les. Thank you for coming up ready. Oh. I love your makeup, by the way. You're always looking so flawless on every live. <laughs> Oh, thank you, gorgeous. Thank you. I have been single for a while, so I'm ready. I'm ready. How old are you and where are you located? Well, it's Leslie Ann. I'm Leslie located Ann. in New York City and I'm 29 years old. I do many things, but I have a 9 to 5. I work for the state. I also do content creation and I do modeling. Do you have any children? No children. No. Okay. <laughs> Would you date a man with children? I'll be okay with that, yes. Describe your dream man. Don't describe his looks. My dream man. Someone who is family oriented. Someone with values. Also a man that know what he wants and is ready not to settle down because I feel like there's all the things that I want to do. But at least someone that has an idea of what they're looking for in their life, you know? And what does he have to look like? Don't mind how he looks like. I'm not picky. I mean, obviously, a man who is tall because I'm 5'11", so he needs to be tall. <laughs> and someone also who looks good physically. But aside from that, I'm open to any nationality, to be honest. How much money does he have to make per year? I don't care how much money he makes a year as long as he's able to provide for himself, for me, and our future family. What if he say, baby, I could make it stretch? With 20000 We have to see the whole package, you know? Yeah. Maybe he, at the moment, is only making twenty k, but he has a vision. He's a man that have a business in the future or has a bigger picture. I can understand that. However, if he's the kind of man that he's making twenty at the time and he's okay with continuing to make twenty for the rest of his life and he has no vision and he doesn't want to keep on growing, then no, please stay away. Well, we both know 20,000 in New York City, you can't, you can't live off of that. So give me a range. But you have to be huh? open. Right? I can't be like, oh, I need a man that makes, you know, I don't know, a thousand dollars a year or something like that. And then it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I don't want to put a price, you know? No, but it's not a price. We're just being realistic. You don't even have to say especially in New York City, no matter where you live in the five boroughs. You need a range. That doesn't mean you're materialistic or you don't look at his heart, but we need a range. What would be a range for you? The thing is, I don't like putting in a number, like putting in a range, just because I feel like there's more to a person than just a number, but that's just me. Yep, that's why I'm asking you more than five questions about what are you looking for. I start by saying, describe who he is. Don't describe his looks. Then I say, describe what he looks like. Then I say, how much does he have to make a year? So I'm not making it about the money. I'm asking you like a series of questions. So give me a range. I ask everyone the same question, no matter where they're from, no matter what their background is. This is how we do the dating show. Mm -hmm. Well, in yes. my case, um, I prefer someone that makes the same amount I do yearly or probably, you know, and that'll be around like 80K. Okay. 
80K. Do you want to go 50 50 or someone who fully provides? Um, I don't believe in 50 50. I'm the kind of person to believe that if we're in a relationship, you should know what your role as a man is. And I know what my role as a woman is. Okay, so someone who fully provides? Correct. Well, I'm Dominican. My background is Dominican. So I come from a family where men are the one who provide pretty much all the way through. So yes, I would prefer the same thing back. All right. Can you give me three deal breakers? Well, someone that has a passport, like be able to like travel because I like traveling, who is like has a cause. What I mean is like someone who like cares about what's going around themselves, like what's going around the world and stuff like that. But okay, these are great. These are like green flags, but I need deal breakers, like things you won't put up with, like you yeah, won't tolerate. Okay, okay, okay. Um, mm -hmm. definitely lying. Like if you're a liar, that's a big no-no for me. If you're a cheater or you have a history of cheating in the past, once a cheater, you're always a cheater. Someone who is disrespectful to their family, especially the mother. Like if you have no respect to your mother, who is the woman who gave birth to you, then you're not gonna have any respect for me. What do you say to the people in the chat, Leslie Ann, who's like, Leslie Ann likes to travel. Her man has to make some coins. <laughs> Leslie Ann, they're like, you like to travel, he must have a passport. But Leslie Ann said money wasn't a factor. What do you say to those people in the comments? <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with traveling and wanting to see more Asav, you know, from New York City. I don't see nothing wrong with being able to travel. I mean, I feel like that's the bare minimum. Yes, you know, but they're saying that it's not that there's anything wrong with traveling, but they're saying it requires money. So money is still important. Mm hmm absolutely she said yes okay he may be one or two reasons why you think you're single like one of the main reasons why i am single is because i give too much and i expect a lot in return in a very short time of period right now i'm 29 right so i feel like time is money so if you're not coming straight and within three months you're telling me what you want from me then I don't see any point of, you know, continuing to talk because I'm going to waste my time and you're going to waste your time. Another reason why I believe I'm single is because I want things to be too perfect. And I know there's no such thing as perfection, but I want things to be too perfect. And that sometimes can tend, you know, to cause issues. And what's too perfect? What does that look like for you? Like, I want things to be a certain way. And if not that way, <laughs> then that's an issue. For example, for example, like let's say that you and I, you know, I don't know, we have a day scheduled for 9 p.m. Believe it or not, by 7.30, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be ready by 7.30. I'm going to be, you know, sending you a message like, hey, like, what you doing? Like, I'm on my way there. And if I run to the place that you're not there at night, that's an issue for me because punctuality is very important. If you tell me that you're going to see me at a certain time, then I want you to see me at that time because my time is valuable the same way that your time is valuable. Okay. Would you relocate for love? Depends on the man. <laughs> okay, okay, depends on the man. And tell me where this man can find you on social media, Leslie Ann. Please give me your handle. My handle is the same one for Instagram, for Facebook, and for TikTok. That'll be Miss, M-I-S-S, -S, my last name. D-I-L-L-A, official. Perfect. Thank you so much for coming up, beautiful. I enjoyed this. All right. Bye, darling. Oh, we like Leslie Ann. <laughs> Thank you for coming up, Leslie Ann. And I always, you know, I always ask the ladies how much a man needs to make. And again, your answer doesn't need to look like, oh, he needs to make a million dollars. He needs to own half of the United States of America. But we just want to kind of gauge just a little bit. And then people say, and this is not to Leslie Ann at all, but because I've been hearing responses from women I, for months already, people start with money's not important. By the end, they're like, you know what? I want to be able to buy a bag occasionally, go on a trip occasionally, eat at a nice restaurant occasionally. And I'm like, certain things require, you know, a little bit of coin. Not that you need to be a millionaire to go to an island, but you do need a little bit of something. That's all I'm saying, a little bit of something. Hi, how are you, Predator? I'm doing good. What is your name? Uh, my name is Aladdis. 
I live in the Gambia in West Africa. Okay. How how old are you? I'm 40. Okay, what do you do for a living? I'm working on the government and at the same time I'm doing my business. All right, do you have any children? I got two children. How old are your children? The older one is nine, the older one is seven years. Um, would you date a woman with children? Of course. Describe your dream woman, do not describe her looks. A beauty in heart, I think that's the most, you know, that, that, that's what I want. Someone who will always be there for each other, we love each other, we show some respect to each other. That's what it's all about. I find that so hard to believe that every man from the continent of Africa comes on my live and says they want a woman with a pretty heart, a beautiful heart. Every man from the continent, yeah. no matter what country in Africa, they all yeah. say they want a beautiful heart. Mm -hmm, that's it. That, that, that's the best. Everyone is praying for somebody who is who is a beauty in heart, not facially. Yes. That, that definitely. Some people are beautiful, they don't have a good heart. We pray to God, you know, to meet someone who, you know, always be there for each other. We respect each other. You know, we love each other. You have to be loyal to each other. That's the most important thing in a relationship. You know, I want a long time relationship. A relationship that can keep, lead two people to get married and have a beautiful life together. That's the kind of relationship I want. Because I respect your life. If anybody want to come up, you know, if anybody, you know, just come up that, you know, you want to live with me forever. If you are ready yeah. for that now, you are welcome. And you aren't married, correct? Because I know men in Africa are very traditional, especially when it comes to having children and being with that woman. So I'm, I'm, I'm married before. I'm married before. I got two kids, but now I'm not in married now. So did you get a legal divorce? Yeah. Okay. All right. Can you give me three deal breakers? Yeah. Just lie. You have to, you don't, don't lie to me. Mm -hmm. Don't kid me. You know, and don't love me because of, you know, like, you know, you have to love me the way I am, but not like, you know, you know, it's about, you know, you know, it's, we, we don't have to make, you know, south to each other, you know, every problem we have to sit, you make a download. We, you know, we discuss, you know, we agree. If I made a mistake, I apologize to you. Okay. We move on. Well, we, that's fair. They're asking about that ring on your finger. No, this is, this is a fashion. We don't put ring here. This is just fashion. I just do oh, it for fashion. fashion. It's a fashion statement. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can you give me one reason why you think you're single? Yeah, I'm single. I, I live with my two kids here. Okay. Yeah, but we're I'm, asking mm -hmm, one reason. One reason why you think you're single. I ask everyone this, so don't be offended. One reason why I'm single. Yes. I'm I'm single because I want to find the right person. I want I want to have somebody who will understand me. We understand each other. We can move on. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Would you relocate for love? Why not? And can where can this work? I, can, I, I can travel up to a thousand miles, just to, millions of miles, just to be with somebody who I care for and somebody who care for me. Okay, that's yeah. fair. And yeah. where can this woman find you on social media? What is your username? Fidetto. Okay, can you spell that out? Fidetto. Okay. All right. Thank you, dear, for coming out. Thank you. Thanks for bringing me up. Thank you so much. Absolutely. You are doing the good thing. Thank you. Dato. I think it was pre -dato. It wasn't part of that. It was pre -dato. That's the way he pronounced it. But, Papa, how you going to come up here and move the ring from here, Papa, to right there? Who, how you going to do this? He went, He said, oh. It said it's a fashion. Papa, you don't look like you in the fashion. I'm not saying you don't put it on. But you don't look like you. 
you into the fashions. Come up here with the lies ready or prepared. Okay? They said no one's more single. No one's more single than a married man. You ever heard that quote? Request to join the live.